So it's complete spinal cord injuries. That's what we're talking about. That's involving could be paralysis. If it's the cord injury is high enough, you could have be on a life support for the rest of your life. It could be paraplegia where you're you have trouble bow with bowels, bladders. Uh, you're wheelchair bound. It could be any of those symptoms. So it really changes your uh, lifestyle. There's also trials involving uh, stem cell research. We're looking at spinal cord injury trials. Uh, we're enrolling patients for uh, degenerative disc disease and could we uh, regenerate this disc in patients. So we're also having a, uh, another trial. We just enrolled our first patients for a uh, spinal cord injury trial to see if there's an opportunity for regeneration of the spinal cord. Uh, this was the first patient enrolled in U UC Davis in the entire, uh, entire country. Right now we have clinical trials to address this. There is no cure for complete spinal cord injury at this point. Um, but we, ha we are multiple trials. We're trying to uh, attack the spinal cord injury at different phases in the uh, injury process. Uh, we're looking at from inhibition, uh, as I said earlier, for regeneration, which uh, as well as uh, is there a secondary edema that's causing the injury. We're looking at regeneration. We we're putting scaffolds into the spinal cord. We just uh, we were involved in a trial that for that as well to see if we could regenerate, or the function or improving the function of patients post spinal cord injury. Is there any hope for these patients? I think there are some promising results, but I think uh, we, st we just enrolled our first patient, so we'll see what happens. I usually tell them that there's always hope. There's always some chance. I've seen patients uh, come back. I've seen them completely paralyzed, and I've seen some improvement in these where we could assist them. There's other tools that are involved that it help them get, get around and get back to their activities of daily living. They may, I usually tell them there's it's a new normal you'll have, but you will get back into life. I think it brings in the whole picture for the job because I think um, it's always frustrating when you can't help a patient and seeing a young, young person paralyzed from waist down or from neck down, I think it's, it makes you m more motivated to see what other, what technology is out there, what could we do to help these patients. I think it's, um, it gives us an opportunity to uh, bring something to, I guess, Sacramento, an opportunity to, um, to its community, uh, most the latest and the greatest technology to help patients.